go to the passing floor to plow to my favorite horse. I always stop and then I have to sleep. I realize that that damn road is all over the door. And leaving my saddlebags full of ragweed. When I kick books in the end, I'll come down with your back. You can hide in my weed on Little witcher ain't no joke. Just smoking all your dope. So I keep packing bags as we go home. Everybody, I'm still toughening up in Tucson. I've changed my skill tree from all chemistry to combat and science. That's all I did. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to crush everything. I still have my Grandmaster woven steel sword, but I now have the Erendite level 42, I believe. Some level 43. Now, when you take on the centipedes, you want to use golden oil. A lot of players say that. And insectoid oil for your blade. I don't even think I put that on my blade. I just went in and whacked them. Because the difference is in your protection from the combat tree. Not only gives you power, offensive power, it gives you defensive protection. So I'm going to go down, I'm going straight into them. I'm ready for the fight. Now they are vulnerable to your explosion down, but to me with the air indicted, if I put down here and it takes about the time to hit them with five strokes. Not crushing blows, swinging blows. The power on the air indicted is ten percent more each hit. So I don't really use air and I think I try a little bit, it makes a difference. I'm going into white. Now they get me really good here. Watch my red line, it's gonna go down, but I don't panic when I have a red line towards the end. I always like to leave about a quarter of it, or an eighth. I know it's not putting the hurt on. Down they go. Please go. I know it's how fast I am, too, fleet footed. And I'll hit a couple of food, and maybe a swallow. I'm a Quinn man. I hit the Quinn and I go in for the kill. But like I say, I don't use Zordon because it takes about time for five strokes to the attack. That's all I need. So that's it. It's that simple now. Just changing my signs from alchemy to combat. Very easy. Now I'm going to whack every centipede I can find. Even Exletalus' black ones over by the Cockatrice Inn. They're going to be coming soon in another video. I'm getting in the groove. Now I'm taking my hangman's venom before I take on these bandits. I still have the same Grandmaster sword, but what I have the difference is the protection of the combat. Exploding shield, for example, is one of them. And I'm faster now. I can roll around them like nothing. So in a short time, I'll take these guys out. All I basically use is Quinn and hangman's venom. And when they try to gather around you, always roll back. Always be rolling. Okay. I'm going to upgrade the sword soon. And when I do, it's going to wreck them. Now, these bandits are your equal level in Toussaint, more or less. You're not killing anything, the Skelligator or, or Bellin. So they are a fight, but I'm not even worried about them. And so by just killing enemies in Tucson in the monsters, you're going to level up fast and a lot. So I'm saving the base game. Everybody's back in Skellige waiting to see the Sunstone. I've got to go get up with Philippa. So I want to kill Deathlass before I kill Aerodin. And I'm going to pack up all this stuff that I'm getting in Tucson and Ogier's sword, and I'm going to take it back to White Orchard for New Game Plus. I'll show you guys and girls how to do that. But you're fighting and doing a lot of killing in Tucson, beating up the monsters, beating up the bandits. You're going to take a lot of hurt. So I like to eat a combination of food and a swallow when I'm in a heavy fight. So it's very necessary to go back to Skellige or the other bar bartender of your choice, whatever so restaurant or inn you have that you like 
and get that food and drink. I want lots of drink, and I'm always looking at my inventory. So I'm going to buy it. I only have, what, 1,800 pounds. I'm going to spend it on food. I'm not concerned at all. Right now, I'm not trying to get any new armor or buy any new weapons. So everything's going to food and drink. But there's something more important than this. So I'm going to share that with you guys and girls in a minute. In between the two or three or four full string of fights, the whole level especially, I always, I mean always go back to Skellige, below Crocs Castle, to this end. Because he has 80% chicken. And when I'm eating that chicken, fighting Detlef, I really recover fast. Cucumbers, onions, water, it's, it's a joke. So what I'm doing here, I'm checking, rechecking, rechecking, and I'm taking, I have now, what, 180, 92 crowns? I mean, I'm spending it. I'm not worried about it. So I say goodbye to him. But there's another place you've got to go. So now I'm headed back to Novigrad. There's something you have to do just as equally important. I'll see you guys then and there.